Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Primark try on haul. So let's get cracking. Hi, I hope you're all okay. Um, so I'm, I went over to uh, Bradford yesterday. I will live in my best life, honestly. <laughs> I went and had two pots of coffee while I were out and uh, yeah, it was just so nice. I had such a lovely time. I went around loads of shops, but instead of rushing, which is what normally happens when I've only got like the weekend off work, um, I took me time. Like I say, I went and had two pots of coffee, just sat there, just absorbing the whole Christmas spirit. I also, my daughter's paid for my nails doing. Now you might see these um, out of order. So at some point, I'm probably gonna jump on and these nails aren't gonna be done, right? Okay. But yeah, thank you to Neve and Rose for, like, for getting my nails done. And the lassie that did them were great, honestly. I'll just show you. Honestly, I just love them. Absolutely love them. It's been so long since, it's pre- the, you know, lockdowns and everything since last time I had my nails done. So I'm super pleased that they're done. And I'm hoping to keep up to them going forward. Um, I, I like them so much. I even booked another appointment for between Christmas and the new year so that I could go and get them redone. Um, yeah, so yesterday, living my best life, absolutely, I had a ball just going round looking at all the Christmassy things and what have you. And um, yeah, I went to quite a few shops. If you saw down here, there's a load of bags um, filled with stuff that I bought. So today we're doing Primark, okay. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with some, some of the bits. I even went and tried on a couple of bits just to make sure they were all right. Um, so, which I never do normally. I never do that normally, but I'm very pleased that I did because one of the things I was looking for were a coat, right, a coat, if you're from Bradford, really, a coat, right, um, and I really needed one. I've got like a puffy jacket that I wear for work. In fact, it's still sitting on my sofa at the moment um, from where I slung it down yesterday when I got in. Um, but it's raggy and all sorts, right? It's okay for going to work, but um, no good for if I go anywhere. And when I went out for my birthday, I was aware that I really didn't have a warmer coat to wear for, you know, for going somewhere nice. So I really needed one. I desperately needed one and I picked one up. So as well as a load of other stuff. So I'm going to show you what I got. Let me put my gigs on. Oh, I've got a Christmas jumper on as well. Although it is just a Care Bear one, right? Care Bears. I got it last year from ASOS. But it is, in fact, a Christmas jumper. Okay, right. Now, not normally into Care Bears, but I thought, you're going to go for a mad Christmas jumper. Why not have Care Bears on it? You know, and I'm not going out of the house today. I'm not. I've got loads of washing to do and a number of other things. Um, a load of cleaning to do. So, um, yeah, I just thought, I'll put this on. This will be nice and cosy hey, while I'm doing all my cleaning and stuff after I've done a bit of filming. Okay, right, I've rambled on enough. Let me show you what I got. Okie dokie, more Christmas stuff. See, I can't pass a shop that's got Christmas jumpers in without picking one up. Oops, knocking things off my table here. Right, okay. So this is a cardigan, but I just loved it. Right, so it's in this beautiful green colour. And it's got candy canes that go into heart shapes all down the sleeves and the front. It's a V-neck. It's got three sort of fake tortoiseshell buttons on it and long sleeves. The pattern's on the sleeves as well. It is plain down the back, but you take that hit with Primark, don't you? I am going to be wearing Christmas stuff from here till Christmas. Oh, ping. <laughs> One of my daughters. One of my poor daughters has got the cove, so God love her. Honestly, sending me love, Dean. Bless your soul. Anyway, right, um, so yeah, she's lost her sense of taste and smell, so um, she's gutted because she was looking forward to her dinner today. Now she can't taste it, so bless you. I know exactly what it feels like, but anyway. So this cardigan, I'm just going to be wearing these to death. Honestly, I am. 
that I paid £12 for this and I got it in a large because I didn't think they were that oversized then. Right, honestly, there was some stuff that a large would have swamped me, but not in these. These are just a little card tape, but I love the green with the candy canes on it. I'll be aware of that over all sorts of stuff and make myself feel really festive. And the good thing about Christmas jumpers and cardies and stuff is, all right, you only wear them for like a month each year, but, well, you know, some people only wear them for a couple of days each year, but I wear them for about a month. Um, but the following year, you can wear them time and time and time again. Sorry, the, my phone's red hot now. Okay, ping, 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 it's going to be doing. Anyway, absolutely loved it. Thought for £12, it were really good. Feels like it's going to wash nicely as well. It don't feel sort of that super soft stuff that when you wash it, you pull it out the washing machine, it does that click, click, click thing when you try to pull it back into shape. And this feels like a proper knit. Feels like it's going to be nice. Let's have a look on the inside, see if it's got all the... Uh... Actually, it's not badly finished on the inside either. That's pretty good. Like that an awful lot. So that's my first thing. And then I had to get a wee lassie to lift this down for me because it were right eye up. Anyway, she did it and she did it with a smile. God love her. So it's another card tape, another Christmas one. Look. Oh, look at it. It's mad as a box of frogs, isn't it? Right, so I bought this in a medium and it was £14. It's got long sleeves which have got no pattern or anything on them. It's also got these fake tortoiseshell buttons, but there's five and it's a much longer cardie. It's got proper pom-poms on, on it, right, real pom-poms. And then a Christmas tree at this side. Um, love that. And then all these ginger men, gingerbread men, whatever we're calling them. I always call them ginger men. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I know they're supposed to be gingerbread men, but it just... Ginger men, you get the impression. And these have got proper little bows on them as well. It's just very plain down the back, but I absolutely loved it. As soon as I seen it, I thought, yeah, that's definitely a bit of me I'm having it. So I will, you'll be seeing these in an upcoming video. Okay, right, love it. Absolutely love it. So there's that one. I haven't tried either of those on. I felt sure a cardigan would be okay. You know what I mean? Next up, my coat. Okay, it is only black, but I totally love it. Right, this is it. Okay, it's like a blazer style coat. I bought it in a size 12 and it was £25. It's got long, obviously long sleeves. At the bottom, it's got four buttons on at the bottom of each sleeves. It's got, is that a fake pocket or is it just stitched? No, it's just stitched, so it's a real pocket. All right, real pockets, two at the front. And then it's got a colour and a, a V with this, these lapels and how many buttons down the front? I definitely fastened it up. They did try it on. It's got, where are my buttons? Come on, Kim, you can find them. One, two, just two buttons at the front in, a, in black as well. Now, they had this in like bottle green colour, which I was slightly tempted to buy, but I thought, no, one coat will be enough. It has got a bit of a shoulder padding, but not massively so. But it's a sort of three-quarter length. At the back, it's got a split, which is just tacked shut, so that'll unpick, and then you can, you know, it'll open at the back. But it just, I felt so good in it when I tried it on. It's the first time that I've put a coat on in a long time that I actually thought, actually, this looks quite nice on me. You know, normally I put things on the thing, yeah, it'll do. Right, yeah, that'll do. I'm trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. But on this occasion, I've got an hair on my nose. What's happening here? Right, on this occasion, I actually thought it looked quite nice on me. So I hope you guys think it does as well. I'll definitely be trying all these on for you. Okay, stay there, coat. Right, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought some socks. Right, I absolutely loved them. They had all different ones uh, of like the big fluffy socks, but I wanted some Christmas socks that were a proper sock. They also had like trainer socks as well in Christmas ones. I did have to hunt a bit for these. These were three pounds. Did I tell you the price that cut? It was 25 pounds. Okay, anyway, these were three pounds. I'm opening them because I'm keeping them, right? Eek. Okay, oh my goodness, they're so fun. Right, so this one's Ginger Men. 
right really cute look at that i'll just wear these with my boots and stuff because i'm going to my daughter's boyfriend's house at gone christmas day okay so i'll probably be wearing my coat and a nice sort of christmasy dress um a pair of leggings and me chunky boots but when i get there obviously i'll be taking my chunky boots off because you don't go into people's houses with your chunky boots on do you you know what i mean um so i wanted some christmas socks so that i'd have them on and i also wanted to wear something christmasy at work because i'm only back two weeks before christmas okay yes <laughs> and i go back and i only have to work two weeks and it's and we're off for christmas but while i'm there i want to be able to wear some socks so these look like they've got holly on and little white spots they're really cute though i love that pair and then we've got some reindeers oh my goodness plastic ties do me head in okay some little reindeers on a sort of creamy sock and then what's this one candy canes okay candy canes they're cute on a gray sock like those and then we've got little santas i can't even get this tag to come out <laughs> i'm pulling it through them all rather than snapping it off it's gonna have to stay put for the time being okay little santa clauses thought they were lovely absolutely lovely and i don't mind primark socks either they're not quite a decent quality certainly for the price so Five pairs of Christmassy socks for £3.50. I think my favourites are probably the red one, the Santa Claus one, and the Ginger Men one. Okay, I like all of those. Well, I like them all, but you know, um, they're definitely my favourites. So I'll pop them there. I'm going to put a pair of those on in a minute. Right, because I've no socks on. I'm sitting here with no socks on, just bare feet. I can't get on with slippers. But then I didn't used to be able to get on with pyjamas and I've suddenly managed to turn the corner on the pyjama front since I started getting pyjama box and got nice pyjamas. So at some point, maybe I'll be into slippers, but at the moment I just can't bring myself to wear them. There's something slightly uncomfortable about them to me. Whereas a pair of socks, I'll walk around in those in my house all day. Do you know what I mean? Although at the moment I haven't put any on. Okay. I do have trousers on, though. I'm just qualified this. I'm not sitting here with no bottoms on, you know, like doing some sort of odd video. I, these are, in fact, trousers. I have, in fact, got black trousers on. I'm proving a point now because I feel like I've talked myself into that, you know, like trying to over persuade you, you know. Anyway, moving on, bought a couple of dresses. This is a dress style that I love, 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 right? You can wear these with knitted tights. You can wear them with leggings. I just love them, right? So these, they had two, well, they had three, but the one, the black colour, uh, one, I've got a couple of black dresses in this style, uh, but two, they didn't have it in my size, so I couldn't get the black one. So I bought the other two colours. Okay, these were £11 and I bought them in a medium, which I didn't think were bad for Primark, £11, because they've been going up and up. Okay, it's a shorty dress with a long sleeve, elastic round the bottom of the sleeves. It's just in a polyester, you know. It's, it's got a bodice that goes down to just above your waist, it would be on me. And then it's got two frills on it. That, with a pair of knitted tights, if it's long enough, or a pair of leggings, pair of chunky boots, or chunky trainers, I, I, I'm all over that. Put my coat over the top and some nice jewellery and I think I'm set for Christmas, you know. All right, it's not the most Christmassy print. It's sort of a cheetah print or something, is it? It's got a V-neck at the front, high at the back. Just better show you that. Um, but I just thought they were great. They'll wash, honestly, brilliantly. Dry in about half an hour um, over my era and I'll be able to wear them to death love it absolutely love it like i say they had these in three designs one were just plain black but they only had it in a large or extra large um and uh, the other two patterns i've bought right i'll show you the other one this one i like even better this is like a sort of zebra print um but it's exactly the same v-neck high at the back long puffy sleeve with elastic round it and then two tiers little shorty dress get myself a pair of leggings under it be able to eat what i want 
without worrying that my belly's showing, you know. Like, you know, these are things I have to consider because my belly sticks out when I'm starving hungry. <laughs> so I might as well prepare for it, you know, that it's going to stick out even more when I've eaten quite a lot. Um, yeah, I absolutely loved it. It's in these taupes and browns with a black pattern on it. And what I liked about both of them is they've got quite a lot of black in them. So if I'm stuck with just leggings, um, rather than knitted tights, I've got, I'll be able to, you know, have something to wear under them. Because when I were in Primark in Bradford, I looked and looked and looked for some knitted tights. And they just did not have them. They had like thick black tights up to 200 denier. Um, but no, you know, cosy ones, no patterned ones, nothing, right? Now, whether that's because, um, sorry, my washing machine's decided to spin. Whether that's because uh, the Bradford one isn't as big as, say, Leeds, and they might have them in Leeds, I don't know. But in Bradford, nothing. No fancy cable tights. I thought if I get some beige ones, I'd probably wear them, you know, not cream, but sort of a more um, oatmeal sort of colour. I thought I could get those. Wanted to get some burgundy ones um, and some black patterns ones, but they just didn't have them. Are they out of fashion now? I mean, obviously, I'm not the queen of fashion. She said wearing a Care Bear jumper, so I don't know. But I thought year after year, they used to have them in. So what that's about, I have no idea because I could not get any. What else did I buy? Okay, bought myself some more of these bralettes. Okay, I absolutely love these. I'm wearing one now, right, okay. I don't like making a feature out of my boobs because anybody, I would have to squash them together to about three inches wide to get any sort of cleave. You know what I mean? I've got a flat chest. Um, so these work brilliant for me. I always get them in a large because... One or two of them are a bit smaller when you actually come to wear them. Some are bigger, some are smaller. On this one, the cream one looks wa much wider than, say, the black one. But they just go under anything. They hold me up because I shorten the straps. I mean, if you let the straps go, your boobs would be around you. You know, well, mine would be around my knees on my belly. But if you hike them up with the straps and the straps are adjustable, and uh, put this tight enough around the back. Gives you some support without you being uncomfortable. So these were £10 for three. So £3.33 and a third, um, a brala. I've literally bought two packs of these in the past. And these are the things that I wear to work every single day. Just love them. They're super soft. And they're in this shiny fabric. Um, and they're supportive enough. Enough, you know. If you've got big boobs... You know, you do you. Wear a nice bra, but when you've got next to no, it's no point. No point me trying to make a feature out of my boobs. And then last up, I bought myself these trousers. Right, so I did. Um, I went to get a pair of black trousers the other day. And for all my legs are slimmer than they've been in a while, my belly it's has grown. I think it's because most days I wear a pair of leggings, so I'm not securing it at all. So I thought I need a pair of plain black trousers. So these I bought in a size 14 and they were £12. Okay. But they're like a nice pair of sort of work weight pants. They've got a seam going all the way down the front. I've had these in the past in a size 12, but they were just too small for me, you know. They've got a skinny leg and at the top, they're just plain across the front with a button, real button and real zip. No pockets are out, no pockets on the back. They're so versatile, you can sling them on with all sorts of things, do you know what I mean? So I'm really pleased to have got myself some in the size 14. Um, please let them go around my belly. I'm hoping so. We'll see anyway when I insert the try on. So, um, yeah, so those are all my things I got from Primark. Look out for the other videos that I've got coming up though, because... Honestly, sitting here is a pound land clothing all. Got some beautiful things. Um, uh, new look, right, that's the other one. And what else did I get? Oh, I went back to Georgia Astor and picked up some new wing. So look out for those videos coming soon. I'm trying to upload a video every day throughout December up until Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, something like that. 
um so yeah so look out for those videos coming soon but i'll go away and i'll try these on and then i'll come back to you okay so i thought i'd start with the black trousers these are great they fit me fine honestly they're not massive so but they fit me fine i really like them they're super high-waisted the legs are okay the legs are not too big i've got a lot narrower legs to stomach ratio so sometimes i struggle because the legs are absolutely hanging on me um, in order to get the waist to fit but actually i don't mind these at all not at all i've just slightly took this this is a camisole i didn't buy this the other day but it is a primark camisole although wearing a mismatching bra under it or bralette <laughs> right okay and i love this little cardi it's so cute it's a lot shorter than i sort of normally buy in cardies but i think with something slightly longer i would probably leave this untucked to cover some of my bottom um if i'm wearing this cardie with it you know i'll just fasten it up a little bit it's proper cute proper cute i love it absolutely love it and my pants feel great these are a great replacement now my other ones don't fit me so yeah i love them i'll show you the back It's a very plain back on the cardi, but um, yeah, the je the trousers, not jeans, Kim. The trousers feel great. I would wear these, definitely, definitely. I wish they were slightly narrower on the legs, but I get why they're not, because I am like a potato on sticks, comparatively, you know? So um, yeah, I, I like them, like both of these. I'm gonna keep this um, the trousers and this black to top on, to try me with the cardi. Oh, I love this one as well. It's so cute, right? Absolutely love it. It's just so Christmassy and fun. Love me little gingerbread men down here with all the pom-poms. Love these pom-poms on this side with the Christmas tree. Like that it's not symmetrical absolutely cozy as anything just love it oh i love these primark are knocking it out of the park with their christmas jumpers and stuff this year absolutely love it really love it you'll definitely be seeing this in an upcoming video all right i'll be wearing this i'll show you the back also very plain on the back but all the fun's on the front which i love yeah absolutely love it i wish it wish it had a pocket but i get it can't because otherwise you're not gonna have all this detailing on it so i'm not mad about the fact it hasn't got a pocket i actually you know i get why that is you know but i would quite like one because i kind of like long cardies with patch pockets but I'll look out for one next time I'm in. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right, I'm going to try my dresses on. I'll keep these trousers on, but I'll, I'd normally wear the dresses with sort of leggings or tights. So, um, but I'm going to try the dress on. I'll keep these on for that. Okay, dress number one. Oh, it's so nice. This is just a bit of me, this. And I absolutely love sort of a swishy dress. <laughs> Um, they're so easy to wear, they cover all sorts of stuff. It, it sort of hides the fact that I am very, very straight up and down with a big tummy, you know. And this sort of dress hides it. It feels really comfortable on. Feels like you're sort of wearing your night dress, <laughs> but in an acceptable way to leave the house. Okay, I'm sure you guys probably think it does look like a night dress. But I really, really like it and I feel really comfy in it. I just love it. Right, I'll show you the back. Yeah, these are fun clothes to me. I know that I am going to wear these to death because they're so easy to wear. And I always end up picking something that's the most easy. To, like I say, I was supposed to have said that 30 times. But that I can just sling it on, you know, right, just sling it on and it'll be fine. Put this on with a pair of knitted tights, or if I can find any, 
or a pair of leggings if I can't and I will be set to go chunky boots and I'm sorted. I'll try the other one on though and I think I prefer like I say the other pattern but I, I'm def these are definite keepers for me. Yeah I like this darker one. I really love it. It doesn't feel like the arms are quite so big on this one um, but more or less it's the same design you know um, I, I really like this darker print. I like both of them, but I much prefer the darker print, I think. But I would definitely still keep the other one. So, yeah, swish, swish, swish. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you the back on this. This is a sling it on. You're good to go. A nice bit of jewellery on with it. It'll be, I, I'll be able to dress this up. I'll feel happy with it, you know. I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere. You know, I'm not going clubbing these days. So um, it's only going shopping and things that I do. So very, very happy with this. I'm going to put my coat on over it. Okay. Okay. So this is the sort of way I want to wear these. So imagine this with a pair of knitted tights and chunky boots. Um, I'm super pleased with it. It fits lovely. Um, yeah, very, very happy with this coat. This is going to keep me a heck of a lot warmer um, than wearing just a blazer now that the cold weather's coming. But it'll be smart enough that I won't feel like, uh, like a bag of rags, basically. Which sometimes, I'll be honest, when I leave the house, I do feel like that. So um, this will smarten it up. Love it. Absolutely love it. think I might get this in another colour. Yeah, I wish they had a charcoal grey, I really do wish they had the char a charcoal grey. I might have a look in Leeds because black and charcoal grey go with most of my wardrobe, right? So yeah, love it. This is my favourite item, undoubtedly my favourite item, but I proper love my dresses as well. Love these trousers and my Christmassy bit of fun. It's just, I have got Christmas wrapped up from Primark. Okay, so those are all my things. I hope you liked some of them. Um, I really need the support, <laughs> okay? Mind your back. Hiya, sorry if you hear some um, a noise. It's me, washing machine is deciding to spin. Okay, so this is what I thought. Footy jumpsy. I absolutely love my coat. That's my favourite thing out of all my stuff. Um, love that. I am definitely, definitely keeping that. And I would consider getting um, getting the same coat in another colourway. If they do it in a colourway, I can get on with my hair's everywhere now. It's tickling my face. Grabbing clothes. Oh, sorry, I've just moved you. All right. Like my dresses very much. Okay, both of them. I will wear those so much. Um, just really like them. Particularly like the darker colourway. Sorry, they're all, all inside out from just taking them off. Particularly like that colourway, but also don't mind that one. Um, and I just think for £11 a piece, they're great. I'll be able to sling them on, like I say. A um, pair of leggings, chunky boots, I'll be out, you know. Um, my Christmassy jumpers, I absolutely love. Love my Christmassy cardies, sorry. Particularly like the red one, just because it's a lot longer and I prefer a longer cardie. But I also think this is really cute. Really, really cute. So I want to keep those as well. Um, and my trousers, here you are. Right, my trousers just fit me so well. So they're keepers as well. So all in all, I am super impressed with what I picked up, which indicates that maybe in a lot of cases I should try things on. Although knowing me going forward, I may still not. So um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm super impressed with them. I'll definitely be keeping my bralettes and also my Christmassy socks because I just think they're a bit of fun. So yeah, I've loved all my stuff that I got from Primark. Absolutely loved them. So, um, but let me know what you think, will you please? Because I always, always take on board what people say. Um, and if you've got any advice on other things I could wear them with, you know, or how to style them, I'm really, really interested to know. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. And I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe. 
and I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, which um, I know in the grand scheme of things is probably, um, you know, compared to people who've got millions of subscribers, is not big but for me it would be a massive massive achievement and i'm also planning a giving a giveaway if i get, ever get to there so um but yeah i've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason uh, but thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me bye